you know, when we were hugging the guests, it was just so awkward. <laughs> awkward. Awkward. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I had to go back to the saloon. Awkward. That's a learn. That's a learn. <laughs> It's it's how she's it's about how she swallows the word ale queer. Yeah. <laughs> when she said it, I would I bet Poodle it's quite ale queer. I bet Poodle screamed when he saw this. It's like all of a sudden she lapses into Dutch. All of a sudden, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, this is BDSM. BDSM. It's BDSM, or otherwise known as BDSY. BDSY. Below sailing yacht, season four. Episode two, worst, worst vacation, vacation ever. Ever, worst vacation ever. What's your worst vacation ever? Um, <laughs> probably. That's a good question. I would say probably my worst vacation ever is when in Boy Scouts it wasn't vacation, but we went on a camping trip. God, I hated camping. I mean, I hated it. Hated it. Didn't want to be, I didn't want to sleep in a tent. I didn't want to, um, I, I didn't want to go shower in some bucket thing. Like, it's yeah. horrible. What about you? Even worse than the last vacation with your ex? <laughs> oh. I was going to say, that's the one I thought you were going to say. My mind already blocked that one out. <laughs> and I was paying for it all. So... <laughs> That was pretty. Thanks for that. Yeah, it wasn't good either. <laughs> wasn't good either. I don't know. I've had. I don't know. I guess there was the vacation where, um, when uh, my I don't know. You know what? I, I, I still would almost rather go on vacation with my ex than go camping. I hated camping. Wow. I hate camping. I have hate you it. ever. Have you ever been camping since? No, why would I go? I and, don't... Your, and your family didn't do camping? No, my dad, he worked out all day in the heat. He'd say, the last goddamn thing I want to do is go sit out and fucking sweat with bugs bite me when I dug a goddamn ditch all day. I'm going to sit my ass in front of the air conditioning and drink Dr. Pepper. Well, at least he was kind about it. He was. <laughs> also, think about my mother and think that you know my mother. Think... My yeah. mother is someone that when they built their house, she purposely had them build a vanity so she can sit down and get herself ready for the day. That's not oh. someone who likes to sit down vanity is not someone who likes to go likes camping. camping. We went, we went a lot, but uh, it was because my parents are outdoor people though. Well, and what's, so what's your worst vacation? Even it, my Alexa just went off that my dad stuck in. Even he, <laughs> even from the dead, he's saying, fuck camping. <laughs> Y'all, we're remote, but go, because Poodle's in Orange County. I'm is in Orange this, County. Is this your worst vacation, being in Orange <laughs> County, in your Belinda? You know what? Str shame, str surprisingly, no. Um, I think my worst one was, oh, God. I think it was probably, we went to the beach once, and it was one of those vacations where Father Poodle also joined, because he was usually working, Oh. And my and mother poodle just usually took and and the mother poodle and uh, uh, brother poodle brother poodle and uh, my aunt Jane were okay. there was there and they kind of like took turns uh, watching the kids and we were we were we we oh, so rented you had brother poodle and then cousin poodles there was cousin poodle too <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, cousin from Poodle kind of looks. Cousin <laughs> Poodle looks more like my brother than I do. Than my Dude, brother does from Hasbro, cousin Poodle looks <laughs> just like little Poodle, but doesn't act gay, <laughs> and is and is a lot more, but has a lot more anger issues. <laughs> has a, cousin Poodle has anger issue, only eats red meat, and has a totally different set of politics. <laughs> <laughs> that is shockingly accurate. <laughs> Wow. 
Yeah, imagine imagine me in a MAGA hat, y'all. Woo! Yeah. Actually, we really do look alike, my first cousin and I. Wow. Yeah, it's shock. I'll show you a picture one day, and you'll, I don't you'll be like, love- you'll go, whoa. 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 Um, whoa. whoa. I did not expect this. I did not expect um, I don't. I don't like... Um, Maybe it, maybe one to because you keep saying you're going to take me to Greenville to meet your family because you want me to take me to Charleston, but that's never happened, I guess. So, well, but maybe I could meet them then, and I could be really gay to make them uncomfortable. I would love that. Just going in like, "Hello, everyone!" And <laughs> I just don't wearing think, a turban. I think they would. I think they'd be fine. <sighs> um. Uh. Anyway, we, my mother was driving. We rented a Ford Aerostar. <laughs> we, rented a, we rented a van. <laughs> All this writes itself. And, and the air conditioning in the Aerostar broke. <gasps> and, <laughs> and so my mother... You need to write this story down. My mother was livid. God, oh, you got it's so hot. We got to go home this now. Down. This you got to write ruined. It. Write it down. And and my aunt was like fanning air like this, like from the vents, like she thought it would get to us. <laughs> and we had the wind. You couldn't open the windows because it was so humid and hot. It was just miserable. Um, because <sighs> middle of South Carolina is just a fucking swamp. And uh, it oh, it was it was absolute misery. And I remember that was that was the time too. Where we, I met some bully on the beach, and like he threw sand in my face, and well, my mother's like, "I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go talk to that person's mother." <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you really need to write this story. This is a good one. <laughs> and, and, uh, when I got home, when I when I got when I we got home, my mother said, "I'm never leaving the house again." <laughs> and father, let me guess, Father Poodle had a, a great yeah. long week well, of silence, friend. You got a uh, friend. Sometimes things don't work out, and uh, I had a good week of work. And she probably just looked at me and said, "Shut up." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, worst vacation ever. Do we have any announcements? Uh, Love oh, is bl- we oh. do. Go ahead. Oh. I was going to say, "Love is Blind." Uh, our 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 recap of the finale uh, reunion is coming soon. Uh, mostly because we had already booked out things this week, and we're not doing it. We're not changing our schedule because Netflix couldn't get its shit together. That's true. So we're going to get it done later in the week, y'all. Yeah, it'll um, probably be out Thursday or Friday. Um, also, I meant to mention this on 90 Day, and I forgot, but I, um, I'm i doing a stand-up show. It's a really quick little thing for our, my – y'all remember Sean Pulaski, um, Trailer Park Diaries, Sean and Vicky. We did that ep- – we should do another episode with them in a few months. We they had so fun. much fun. Um, so Sean does a, a show called Social Media Meltdowns. Social Media Meltdowns. There you go. It's at the Improv on Melrose in Los Angeles. So I'm going to be there. Is on- that a two-drink minimum? <laughs> um, well, it is t- – <laughs> Maybe, but it is on four twenty. It is on four twenty. Oh, so there's definitely so, a weed minimum. I think I might take a gummy and do it. Why not? Oh, it's four twenty. So oh, anyway, Lord. y'all can come see me there. Get your tickets. Go to um. I've shared it on my social media. Uh, if you just kind of Google social media met- meltdowns and at the it's at the Improv Comedy Club. So check it out. That's it. I had a sissy come last time. It was great. We sat out afterwards. We sat and talked or stood and talked out. It was wonderful. Lovely. So, and if you're in Orange County, um, I don't know why you would be, but if you <laughs> are, a lot of OC sissies, actually. if you are though, you can come see Poodle's show or reading of that at the Chance Theater. The Chance uh, Theater, 730 on uh, Wednesday night. On Wednesday. Well, yeah, that'll be, this, this is dropped on Tuesday. No, this is dropped tonight. So yeah. it's tomorrow, uh, April 19th, 730. It's called Cheese the Musical. Cheese, day of the Oklahoma City bombing, <laughs> April 19th. Never forget. Yeah. My mother was almost so. in the building that day. Yeah. Yeah, I never never heard that before. <laughs> she was, thank God, she was. There are it's there it, it is I I was I was kind of shocked they were they were charging for tickets but they are. So. Anyway. Oh. There is no two drink minimum though. <laughs> There's not. I don't think there is a two drink minimum at the improv show. It, it's because it's a, a two drink minimum. No, it's a sm- it's in the like little it's in the oh, little venue place. The small room, maybe not. It's then. In the small room, so maybe not. I don't know. 
All right, everybody. Um, I think, uh, oh, whoa. We're putting out a free episode this week that you're going to get that's normally on Reality Gaze Plus in the $8 tier. But me, you and my ex. You, me, and my ex You, me, and good. my ex, yeah. You, me, and my ex is good, y'all. <laughs> this first episode is nutso. I, I realize it's a cringe episode. This is much more messy people it's not stomach churning it's just super messy and you kind of feel bad for these people being in the in the family units they're in because <laughs> they're so yeah. messy and it's it's kind of at least so far in this first episode it's the first um or it's the perfect combination of people that do want to be influencers but have really terrible, messy lives and can't help but keep their messy life, which is real, off of the camera. And like yeah. have a weird exhibition, ex, uh, exhibition, ex, I can't say Speak. the word. Speak! Exhibitionism about yeah. them that they want to show it to the world. Um, Y'all, as we met, my friend is a, a, a colleague, is a producer of the show, and I did message him and say, please tell me that Caroline's mother will be on this season. He said, oh, yes. Frequent episodes. Oh, she, y'all, she's basically Elizabeth Ashley, if you remember, from Evening Shade. <laughs> and from so many other projects. Current references only. There, there, there are like four sissies who got my Elizabeth Ashley references. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Anyway, so that's dropping on the... Y'all can listen to the free feed this week, but then normally it's going to be at the $8 tier only. So There's, um, there's ridiculous April Roy... John and Lauren. <laughs> Roy is so happy. He I is love so Roy. Roy. Oh, he I, I just... want Roy. I want Roy my wedding. Who I, you know, for the guy I cheated on, I cheated on Roy with, who was my next door neighbor, and then he flew here from overseas and tried to get me back because he was in the military on active service, and I cheated on him because I didn't think he handled the death of my dad well. I hate her. <laughs> She's I the villain love her, of the show for me. She's the absolute villain. She's terrible. Woo. Well, Rowan's not much better. You know what? I have a little respect for her because she is not playing about what she is doing. She is. <laughs> anyway, we won't go fully into a read, but y'all, it's good. There's good characters. We're excited for that. So be sure to check that out. Um, and don't forget about Alex spelled B-E-Y-O-N-C-E. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alex, who used to be with Steven... Yes, a man, and he's bisexual, and so now he's with Caroline. Otherwise, uh, mole, 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 mole. Yes, <laughs> and now they're having a baby, and you heard that right. We're having a baby. <laughs> I put my dick inside her. Oh, yeah. I promise it wasn't weird. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of Tom Cruise. <laughs> I doubt he's thinking of Tom Cruise. Thinking of Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, there that's is it. There that's are it. some. There are some gay and bisexual men that will come no, if true. they think about Beyonce too much. He just he just listened to Love on Top over and over <laughs> again, and, <laughs> and as she kept changing keys. That fifth, he that got fifth key change. He finally. The one. I'm almost there. You're the one. I'm almost there. You're the one. Oh, got it. <laughs> I just made a baby. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's far off, to be honest. <laughs> that song is kind of amazing because of all those key changes. It, I, I remember the first time I ever heard it and that I was like, this is insane. And then I played it for someone one time. And I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. There's just, it's, it's almost laughable at one point. It's so good. It's so good. She sounds and so good too. She does. Shall we move on instead of two gays talking about Beyonce? Beyonce. <laughs> hey. All right. Oh, Poodle's drinking from a Sonic Sonic cup. Sonic cup. Yeah, I went to Sonic. We What'd don't. You go? We don't have them in in. We don't have them in LA proper because the franchise fees are too expensive. You can only get them in Orange County. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I got I got a chicken. Chicken Toaster Club. They brought it back. You will. They brought back. it back. We haven't had Sonic. Well, I had it in Oklahoma, but we haven't had it since we went and saw David Archuleta. That's true. That Sonic was subpar. That I one gotta was say. subpar. This one was okay. 
This was okay. Did you, is David Archuleta on The Voice? Were you right? Or The Masked Singer? Were you I right? I stopped watching. Um, oh. I got busy. I, I've got like four episodes to watch. I know oh. it was David Archuleta. I don't, I'm, I, I know I was right. I don't have to be validated to know who it is. There, there are certain, certain voices. It's like when Michael Bolton was on, I'm like, okay, come on. I don't even need to see him take off anything. I know who that is. Yeah. That's the right. worst Michael Bolton Sounded ever Sounded just heard. like him. All right, Poodle, what's your Let's first Let's jump in. Teabag? Oh, by the way, y'all, if you want to listen to this episode commercial free, also, if you jump on the $8 tier Reality Gates Plus, you will be get this ad free for what, Poodle? Your pleasure. For your pleasure. Mm-hmm. Ribbed. Ribbed for your pleasure. All right, let's jump in. What's your first one? Uh, first of all, we're dealing with a broke. The boat broke last week, y'all. Like broken. Full on. But Colin fixed this motherfucker. That was hot. It was really, he was to come on, baby. And he was turning the boat. And I was like, <gasps> I'm like, <clears throat> I've never been so turned on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna start uh, calling my asshole the engine room. <laughs> no, that wasn't even the noise of the engine. That was just me, <laughs> just revving up for Colin. Anyway, y'all, uh, it was it was something to see that Colin. Oh. I don't know if they if they if they made this a l- they inflated this a little bit, but this was pretty fucking amazing. He basically made an engine work that was waterlogged with salt water and corroded. And uh, it's going to be fine with this season. He's, they're going to have enough time to get it done. And well, I, he is an engineer. Does he have an actual engineering degree? I think you probably. I, you know, I don't know that. I think you have to study and get. He said I'd studied and I do a lot of thing for for salvaging older boats. So I'm sure he has to have some type of like education basis. You just have to learn all learn all about it. Well, this this goes along with um, it, you know, and it be, an engineering degree isn't necessarily to be an engineer for a boat. No, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, no, but yeah, but no, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah, but no, Eric weird, um, yeah, Eric weird. Well, this kind of goes along. It's a tea bag I had later, but um, well, it maybe it goes. Maybe it goes along with I. It's a quote, and maybe it goes along with um, a segment we were going to introduce this episode. Poodle, what's the name of that segment we're going to introduce? Knew you'd forgotten. <laughs> no, no, I was gonna. I'm oh. trying to gear it up and let you say it since you thought it. I was trying this to be. Is, I was trying to be a good. Oh. Trying to make you look good the way Carol Burnett later made all of her players look good. I wasn't going to make it about me. Don't compare yourself to Carol Burnett, bitch. Uh, I will say that's fair. <laughs> I will say this. Fair. Okay. Your, uh, this is time for a moment in Karen. <laughs> that works. I had Keep to it. press the foghorn. That's why you had to say it. Oh, that makes sense. Good. Golly. I, I just thought you forgot the title. Of the no, 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 no. Um, okay. So Karen is later on the boat and she's like, you think they would check the engine before they went out at sea? I know it's a sailboat, but if you don't check the Indian, that's on them. them. That's on you. You Y'all, got, yeah, go ahead. The phrase, that's on you. Thank means, you. That's literally it's about, or that's on you, that's on the, them. The phrase, the phrase means you sh- You also need to add in, you stupid motherfucker. Um, yes, yes. That's, that's what that phrase, the beginning of that phrase. Yeah. Um, she also earlier said, Hello, we need an engine. God, you, I would have wow. thrown this bitch off the boat. <laughs> I find this charter to be uh, not nice people. No, they're not. Yeah. But um, do you think, though, she is right? Do you feel like, do they, I'm sure they do some type of engine check before they, hmm. how would they, I don't know enough, but so I well, think probably, but how would they know if the engine was running? If they're, well, it's like a car. If a car is running well and it sounds good, and you take a car out, you would uh, go, okay, everything's fine. That w- it seemed like when Glenn Glenn said, "Well, I got her here, so everything was fine." So yeah, um, maybe the water. I I just think it was honestly the timing of it. Yeah, I I, I don't 
I don't know. I, that's a good question. I I seriously doubt they would have jeopardized the boat for in in any in, for a whole charter season. I seriously yeah. doubt. I don't think um, they would. I believe you know, Captain Glenn for one episode. I don't know. I just I if it was me, I think I would have told the women, you know, this is this is the way things are going to be. We don't we're not going to get the duck today. Maybe you could we could we could say we could refund refund you and maybe come back another season, you know, because we're not getting off the dock. And but I think they just want to be on TV. Honestly. Yeah. And they're already there. So the thing is, y'all, if the boat you you could be you could you could you can be bitchy about it or you can decide to make the best of it. And I think about I think about 60% to 70% of the charter guests decided to make the best of it. And there were one or two Karens, including the Karen, who decided not to. No. <laughs> Exactly. Now, exactly. I think they completely. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh God. Is go. it repeating? I think it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it Stop! off. Okay. <sighs> we gotta. We gotta learn how to take. We need. We need to send you to a class on Zencaster. You know. You don't say that to me. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> you don't say that to me. So. Anyway, what's what's your that was that was our uh, a moment in Karen. Uh, My tea bag is um, I. It's kind of all encompassing of you know Daisy. We forgot about last season. They did a flashback, so they're going to send them out on a beach picnic. And Daisy's like Daisy says, it's interesting that Daisy's. Daisy has a different style of being a chief stew than, say, um, Aisha or um, I, I don't know Kate Chastain's style, but um, from other chief stews in that Daisy almost doesn't. And I'm not saying this is good or bad, but like with Aisha, it feels like. Um, and who did we just have on the last below deck? Who was the chief? Uh, um, Fraser. Fraser. It's like they they had to be there because on the beach because they wanted to make sure things went well. Mm -hmm. Whereas Daisy is the opposite. She is kind of like, we don't have time for that. We've got to clean up. And last year she fought about this with Gary. She's like, why can't you just serve drinks and stuff like that? Well, yeah, I think the reason is because I know that Lucy went over and helped set up, but they're serving them drinks on like, just when they cut to the beach, picnic of the, the the ladies that it was literally it looked like they was just on fucking tv trays feeding them food it looked yeah janky but, well it's because you're used to below deck this is a different franchise things are sleeker and more um a little more efficient that's true it's it is that way yeah. um let me tell you another reason um daisy Daisy is really concerned with she's more uh, uptight about especially things running smoothly uh, in, in on interiors than anybody. Um, no, she's really big about housekeeping and all that kind yeah. of stuff too. And so when and I think she get lets her anxiety get out of control. So she knows and also one of the reasons that Daisy's kind of unmoored cuz she doesn't have her emotional support dog Gary. Yeah. And she even says, uh, Gary's not here to argue with me. And even when they do argue, y'all, they love each other. So it's just a part of the job. Yeah. But I think that's one of the reasons that she, and also Daisy's loves, Daisy knows when she can run over someone. And she's going to be able to run over these guys. It's, it, it's good, but she's, you know, it's it's just a different tech. And I just wanted to point that out that for people that are new, it's different. Um, and she also, I don't know if she just, if she has less patient this, patience this year, but I was kind of surprised when Daisy and Captain, Captain Glenn got into it. Because Daisy, Daisy doesn't, and I don't know if this is bad or not, but you think about it, in the service industry, they, if the customer wants it if the charter wants it you kind of sacrifice all of your needs yeah and a lot of other students if they could fraser 
they couldn't find ice, Fraser would have just hurried up and grabbed a thing of ice and brought no, it to the boat and that, just had extra ice. That is specifically Daisy, and she thinks she's earned that. One of the criticisms of, of Daisy is that she's got a level of entitlement on that boat. And I think it's a little fair. I think it's a little fair, too, because... Captain Glenn is your captain. Yeah. And when he tells you to get a bag of ice, you fucking get a bag of ice. And she fought him on that. And he got well I got attracted to Captain Glenn, Glenn when he got a little angry. Glenn never gets testy. Oh. I, I can count like one on one hand. But the problem is, y'all, when the boat's not moving and he's hearing these women uh, give complaints, he gets very uptight. I was yeah. turned on. Nothing like a Canadian getting upset. Oh, I'm not going to say sorry. I'm not going to say sorry. I'm raising my voice right now. <laughs> um, no, I think I think Daisy is off when Gary's not there. They don't have a they don't have a, uh, a first mate. You know what? So you know why off. too? She voices her frustration and to Gary and Gary can yep. handle it. And then he calms her and then takes, she doesn't have that sounding board. Yeah. I think on a ship, on a, on a, on a smaller yacht, like they're on, I think it's the, the dynamics are harder and the, it's a more of a pressure, a pressure cooker environment. Uh huh. Um, which is why Daisy and Gary have the biggest knockdown drag outs. And, uh, it's, it is that they fight more than, anybody else in any other department um except for season season two with the chef i think when adam was there Ugh. i think i think um, adam was adam was the chef for a while too um so what's your next one i want to talk about um I, maybe you don't think this L lucy who is welsh uh basis like I don't have to think about Chase. He's too positive. <laughs> it's not that he's annoying. It's just, it's just, it's a lot. And I agree. And she's like, I just want to be someone who moans all the time. It's my charm. And like, if you know a Welsh person, y'all, they're just waiting for the next bad thing to happen. <laughs> oh, are they? I don't know yeah. anything about Welsh. Well, no, they're, they're, God, they're, they're funny really, people. You have really fucked around the world no, i've just i've just known God. welsh i've just known welshmen and, and welsh women <laughs> where 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 did you meet welshmen no i'm saying i just I've, I've never fucked a welsh person i don't believe but i've just known really them. yeah culturally there are people who they'll so it's well it's they're like it's a beautiful day well i think i think i see a cloud right in the very corner but they're well, lovely you can, people you can add that to your list yeah <laughs> You should do a map of the world. But every time I look at her, I think like Claudia Schiffer bombshell. She they're all beautiful. They're <laughs> yeah. all, I think they're all the women are beautiful. All the men. This is a, the, why this is a good. Everyone's this gorgeous. Stuff, this everyone's season. gorgeous and really slutty. And I'm yeah. here for it. Um, uh, that was mine. I just thought it was funny. And, and there is, there is this kind of weird Southern let's go team about Chase that gets on my nerves and. I don't think that's probably going to go away for me. No, I don't think so either. I think it's a time again for another moment in Karen. <laughs> it, this is a sailboat. Why can't we go? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I've got to press it again. Sorry. You ruined it. Never mind. <laughs> no. It's almost like. No, it. It you are the no. you are the anti comic timing. <laughs> no, it did it. No, it wasn't doing it repeated before. Admit it. You heard it. No, you did it already once. I know, but I'm not pressing. I press the button and then it keeps. Go ahead and do it again. Come on. No. Uh, no. You know what? <laughs> this we're, is a sailboat. We're... Why can't we go out? Insert laughter. <laughs> I'm not even going to do the voice. Okay, here we go. Th then I'll do this one. Do it and press it again. It's one thing not to be able to sail. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know. You, who's going to check on this? I And, and like, we go to the beach? I can do this in Florida. She just <laughs> compared 
this to because where are they again? They're in uh, not St. Lucia. That was uh, Sardinia. Sardinia. Sardinia to Florida. Yeah, a lot of people in Florida do that, <laughs> and I think some of these people are from Texas. But I think she's they are from, from Florida. Texas, yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I let. What's what's your next tea bag? My next one is a commercial. We'll be okay. right back, y'all. Can I get an espresso martini? Espresso, espresso, espresso. Okay. Make that three, four, five, five. five. Oh, I spilled mine six. Oh, I spilled mine on the comforter. Is that okay? I know it's ours. <laughs> wow. Uh, the condition of these rooms of these cabins wow that's what i want i why now i feel like if anybody poodle i'm gonna say this with love <laughs> i'm not judging i'm really not judging um you've left certain hotel rooms or airbnbs vrbos with certain liquids on sheets before. Yeah. Why would there ever, though, need to be just a massive amount of blood on the <laughs> fucking sheet? I, I have a theory about this. I think it happened where a guest, I don't know if you saw this, they were they had band-aids at the beach where oh, Yeah, and they left their band-aids just sitting on the thing. Uh y'all, there's to me, there's nothing more revolting than a band-aid just on the ground. You know or, what? Like a dirty band aid. It's like a dirty band aid or a cockroach are the same thing to me. I, I, I find the the look of a used band aid just to be one of the most revolting it's things really, in the world. It's really gross. Um, but I think when the woman hurt her foot, maybe, I think it looked like the woman uh, hurt her foot who was on the sea bob. She was the one who was drunk and fell over. And Karen's like, she can't sit in a chair right. How is she going to handle that? <laughs> Press it again. <laughs> um, but I got to agree with Karen there. I think it was her, but I think this also that woman has been so drunk the whole time she didn't know she bled all over the sheets. For me, I think if it would have been me, I think I would have handed it politely to one of the stews and said, "Yeah, can you wash this? I'm so sorry, my foot bled all over it." I yes, I would bring it to their attention and let them know. But and I also got to say, and our our chief stew Sissy Carly commented on this because I thought so too. They definitely should have been wearing gloves to handle the blood. That was very disturbing. <laughs> I when she was in that room cleaning, I was like, I would have fucking had a, I'd be wrapped up. I'd be in a hazmat suit. I'd look like a contractor in a house with lead. It was I. I feel like these people, it's that idea when you're on vacation and that you're going to do, you you don't even, you don't have any consideration for anybody else. I think both of us kind of overcorrect the other when we're on vacation. I, we're we're I, trying yeah. to say, don't, 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 don't bother us. You know? I wouldn't even, I honestly probably, unless I was at dinner or up on the deck, I probably wouldn't even order an espresso martini or any type of martini if I knew they had to like take it downstairs to my room, cause I would feel like that would be too stressful making and carrying that drink down. I would say, well, just give me a beer or something as like that. One of the guests said, well, there's gotta be a limit to what we asked for. And one went, one went, there is no limit. You know, it's, it's another type of guest. Um, yeah, it was, <laughs> sorry. I they didn't press them. Right. Oh God. Stop it. <laughs> What you asked for it? I know I'm going to regret it. You're the one that wanted the sound. We thought we were getting a five star experience, and that's not how it was. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the wrong one. <laughs> we're going to send you to class. <laughs> we're going to send you to Saturday school, and you're going to learn about this program. <laughs> Jesus, I thought I was getting punked. I think the bitch thinks the show's still on. Yeah, she yes. thinks Ashton Kutcher is still on that show. And dude, where's my car? <laughs> well, because that because 
all Karens in their forties still want, still think of like the young guy they want to fuck is Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Even as a Karen in my forties, I think about Ashton Kutcher as the young guy I want to fuck. Him him as Kelso was hot. He was hot. He is hot. Remember how what's his name wasn't really hot on that show, but now in real life he's fucking sexy as hell. Wilmer Valderrama. Oh fuck. my god! Remember, remember we when saw him at that Cuban restaurant? Yes. Remember when you realized Fez was the hottest one there? He kind of was. Oh man! God, and the less, I said, to, the less I said to... about Danny Masterson, the better. <laughs> is he even around anymore? Oh yeah, it's just like lots of sexual assault allegations. Yeah, I thought he was totally canceled. I want to see Wilder Valderrama's dick. <laughs> that sounded really, <laughs> really gross. <laughs> like predatory. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, oh, you, please. But there's something in my voice that sounds fun. Uh In yours, it sounds predatory. Yeah, uh uh-huh. See what I live (laughs) with, y'all. See what I deal with. Does it seem like you're lower? Does it seem like you're like a little person? You're just like... I'm not standing at my desk anymore. I'm sitting down. Okay. It looks like the microphone's too big for you. No, my well, my back was hurting, and I wanted to sit. All right, there you go. Um, well, my I, Pilates, I did a bunch of shit yesterday, my ba- and I'm sore. Uh, is it is it my turn or your turn? Sure, you can go. Okay. <laughs> um, in the end, y'all, the dueling Karens are talking to Captain Lee or sorry, Captain Glenn, saying, "Well, things could have been better." Um, and then, but there was no <laughs> toilet paper. There was two towels. No towels. Yeah. There were no bath mats. And <laughs> I don't know if this is something to cry over. <laughs> I don't think it's something to cry over. And y'all, the thing about it is, these two women who went over there didn't want to leave any tip. They didn't want to leave anything, which is unheard of. Unheard of. And then... This was one of my tea bags. We have never, I mean, maybe you've seen it because you've seen uh, prior seasons, past seasons, but I've, I've never seen people count at, out the tip on oh. deck in front of the staff on below I wanted deck. to claw off my skin. You do that in your room in private. You don't do that shit on camera. When they were counting out the bills. That was. You know, that's classless. 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 Uh, you know, I think they had to do that because the two Karens didn't want to, didn't want to. And so they had to actually give more money for those two women. I, I think so, too. It's like, y'all. How embarrassing. You, I have friends like that, or I used to. They don't, they don't, we're not really, nothing ended, but we're just not really as friends anymore. But you know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Remember the one uh, couple friend when whenever we all went to dinner with them? we went to the bank and got out like 20s, 5s, 1s, and even like yeah. 50 cents because they would always stiff us with more of the bill. No, the one night, that was that was when I decided I would never, ever spend time with them again. That was one of those <laughs> nights. And I decided if they were inviting me anywhere, I will never go. Because the bill showed up and they just kind of go. We didn't have anything. Uh, okay. They're like, well, we didn't have much. And they just kind of sit there and let everybody pay more for it. <sighs> I hope they got food poisoning from that they're awful well um we wish them the best i wish them well we wish them the best this is not going to get settled today <laughs> not going to get settled today um i let's see i wrote let's see i wrote tv trays what else do i have um i have like one one more general note i think um oh the i tip, wanted the tip was good though y'all the, because, well, the of, because was, those other women the tip was good because the other women I don't know how it is in Florida, but especially you're in if you're in Texas and you have any sort of money, I think probably in the South other uh, South too, but in Texas you gotta spread it around. In Texas, appearances are everything. Yep. Totally agree with you. And if they did not leave a good tip for them the, and they were on TV, they would have felt that would be more humiliating. I totally agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that was part of the motivation. Um 
What did you think? Again, I think this might, unless unless Gary cools her, but I think Captain Glenn and Daisy might be going around this season because, again, he is giving her feedback after they leave. And yeah, she she's, is coming. She's not, she's at not having it. She's well, totally defensive. She was, and I like what would think... Kate, what would Kate Chastain have done? Because like, to give an example, like, well, it depends on who she was with. She would have never said a word back to Captain Lee. She would have gone. You know what she would have said? Oh, that that wasn't my experience. So she would have immediately kind of. She wouldn't have been defensive, but she would have used her chief stew. I'm being kind, but I'm really trying to kill you with my mind voice. Mm. Um, which to me is why she will always be the best, the, mo- the, the best chief stew. Um, Cause she could, she could seem courteous, but, but extremely <laughs> disengaged <laughs> mm. and no Daisy takes things personally. Yeah. And also that, will show it there. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is what, Daisy did not expect on the first charter to have such a needy bunch of people on there. And also to have two women, two new women as stews who are kind of learning the ropes. Neither one of them seem to be extreme go-getters. So Daisy, but they, but they do seem to be Daisy's telling them what to do and they do it. Mm -hmm. But neither one of them seem like they have a ton of experience. So I think that's where she is. She's taking that personally. So I agree. I do agree with her. I think that the the stew crew uh, has interiors. Yeah, our interior has a really good. They, I think, they could be a strong team. Um, you know, we always ask around second or third episode if we think anyone's going to leave. It's hard to tell yet because Gary's not here yet, so we don't know what the interaction is going to be with Gary and the rest of the deck crew yet. Uh, I'm saying this now, and I think it's because of w- watching her try to put meat on a plate like puzzle pieces that I don't think Alicia's going to last the whole season. <laughs> yeah, she got. She's going to get stressed. The edit. The edit she's getting is does not bode well. Now it could be production just kind of trolling her a little bit. But they talked a lot in this episode about how stressed she gets, yeah, and how she's a perfectionist. But and she's worked on ships for a long true. time. But we all, I don't know. I don't know. If she's not, not not as long as she's worked in restaurants. No, um, she said restaurants, and then I, I thought she said she worked in restaurants for sixteen years. She said I don't know how long. I'm sure she'd had a little bit on ships, but she didn't want to go back to re- working restaurants because she liked it on boats. Mm. But she's done it before. But it was this idea that the the production and the the edit kept showing time codes. Uh, of how late it was, yeah, and I just, I just have a feeling that that's what they're gonna, that's that's the thing we're gonna be. It's, it's a very common chef edit of of how long they take for things. So it is amazing how even her and Daisy, this is the first charter, and they're already so stressed and like their Daisy's always like this. <laughs> she is always like that. Um, but I will say, even Captain Glenn finds a good Karen. Whenever you can, he's like, I like, he said, I like the name Karen. I don't understand. <laughs> I wonder if that, I wonder it's if that's so stayed. Canadian. And it's true. I um, do know a lot of good Karens. I personally. do too. I, I, my, my, my cousin, I have a cousin, Karen. Um, she's a little Karen though, <laughs> but she's a good person. <laughs> Just rough on the edges. Just rough. Just she's rough. rough. Yeah. She'd probably complain at a restaurant, though, unfortunately. Um, uh, if you haven't seen the Christopher Ryan Stamey restaurant, Rhonda, uh, where she's like, I'm sorry, can we, can, we have, um, can we have eight waters, four with an orange, three with a lime, and one with a mint? <laughs> one with the mint. <laughs> and she's always asking for things off the menu. Oh, it's, it's so good. Restaurant Rhonda. Restaurant Rhonda. Um, you want to talk? Was, y'all don't pull over. I, there's a. I can hear a police. Our I have my coming. my last one is. I'm. I think the both both the both people in b- both the stews and the, it out. Deck, the deck crew men are going to get along because we're already doing good girl code, bro code. They, um, first episode, they are like they're 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 teaming up. 
Did you hear what the women said? They were talking about who are you attracted to? And then the the the, the sweetest thing. It's not really sweet, but you, I just think it's really courteous. Uh, Mads Mads said, "Do you want to me? Do you want me to wear something skimpy so you don't look like the skimpiest to Lucy?" She's like, "Yeah, please." <laughs> I just thought that was so sweet. Do you want me to look slutty so you don't you don't look slutty? I'd that's, do that for you. That's the charity you would do whatever you look best in. You would that's tell fair. me you would do it, and that's then you would fair. come, and then you would show up covered up and say, "Well, it didn't look good on me. I had to change," and you wouldn't tell me. And I'd be sitting there like, in a halter that, top. Look at that asshole with no clothes on. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you would do. As long as I look the best, that's all I care about. Yeah, but. Poodle, even though these people are too old for it as well, Poodle is the first, even though he is in his mid forties, he will always play Truth or Dare if he if someone wants to play always. Truth or Dare. Y'all, that is and that is that is problematic. That's where you get into trouble. They're chugging a lugging, y'all, when they're going out. Um I y'all, and so at in the Truth or Dare section in the hot tub, Alex has made out with Daisy twice. So yeah, da- Daisy sometimes pulls these younger guys. She's going to get good pull, Alex. And then later we saw that she's making out with Colin. Like, yeah, Day. Da- I think I think why Daisy has pull is because she um she's so professional and she's so um with it as for the most part as a leader. But then once the she's clock wild. is off, one you know again. Daisy's a poodle. She <laughs> they got their shit together, and then when the clock is off, we work hard and we play harder. Harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Alex loves that. Also, Alex loves someone a little bit older who he can mess with. All right, get off his dick. He's not gonna fuck you. He doesn't even know who you are. Yet. Uh, I do. How did you? What was your reaction whenever they went out that night? And he took his hair down, and his hair was just long and flowing. Oh God! He like Daisy said, he is nice to look at. Fuck, Jesus! And I don't even like those like dumb glasses he had on. But he's boy, he is good eye candy. Damn. Yeah, you need to get it done after this show. He is hot though. He is hot. Uh, but even the guys said when they were talking about who they were into. And that's something Gary would never do. No, because Gary um, will Gary. And that and it'll be interesting. They're establishing bro code, but they don't realize when Gary shows up, he's there gonna is try no to bro fuck, code. There's no bro code with Gary fucks the person that's in front of him. Yep, yep, yep. It's the only thing that makes makes conflict among the men and the women. <laughs> and I could see Chance having a problem with that. Chance, Chase, 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 Chase having a problem with that. Uh, that's all I've got. All right, everybody. That's all I got, too. It got Y'all, slutty at the end. Remember, we should start a, a nonprofit called Sluts Helping Sluts. If you're going out you with your slutty. friend. Yeah, y'all be slutty. Oh, there's a helicopter going over me. <laughs> oh, great. Well, there was a shooting by me today. It was terrible earlier. Um, Jesus. All right, everybody. Um, be careful out there. Lord, um, be careful. Yeah, there's a th- lot of shit going on in the world right now. There he is. We hope we gave you a little break from it. But if you're a slut, and you are, because you're listening to the show. Besides, by the way, your mom's a slut. Your dad's a slut. Your grandma's a slut. Your dog's a slut. Oh. Just looking up. Right now, you're petting your dog, and she'll just look at you, and you'll go, you filthy little slut. <laughs> your cat. Just look at your cat and go, you filthy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, you know what? And your gerbil's a slutty oh! slut. Oh, the worst. The slut. So if you're a slut, remember, help out other sluts. Sluts, sluts helping sluts. Helping sluts. All right, everybody. Uh, go to realitygaze.com. You know the drill. Follow us on social media, on our Instagram, our TikTok, and our Twitter. Uh, again, if you want to listen to this episode commercial free, ad free for your pleasure, you can subscribe to Reality Gaze Plus at the $8 tier or the $15 tier, the video tier. We had so much fun in our Love is Blind Live. We had 1,500 people. If you enjoyed even, that, even even though there was no show, <laughs> hey, we had fun. If you enjoyed we, that, we were enough show. I ate a quesadilla. You did. Camera. If you like that, though, we do once a month. We do a YouTube live with everyone on our fifteen dollars tier, where we just honestly let them drive the conversation and just talk, talk to them and, and 
Yeah, yeah, talk, and we we show we share some maybe intimate details that we may may not be ready to share publicly. No. We call that section under the skirt. Yeah, because so, y'all are all under our skirts. Well, that got weird. <laughs> it's going really well till you said that. You know what? Sorry about the smell. <laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you next week. Uh, until then, it's anchors, anchors again. again.